so um yeah they're they're they were pounding earlier they're drilling again um it's about 1 30 p.m Um, I wanted to make this video a few times and I, I, um, well, not this particular one, but I just, I, I, I couldn't, I, I didn't even start to write down what I wanted to talk about because I was so upset. Um, things are getting so bad here in the States. It's, it's terrifying. And, um, for targeted individuals, for people of, uh, for, for people who are being, hunted, stalked, terrorized in this, this sick, perverse manner, right? Our lives are about to get a lot worse. Um, you know, you know there are book bans going on everywhere. <laughs> in some cases, there there's book burnings. Um, now, you know, there are certain things you can't say, you can't talk about, you know, anything that... It, it started out with supposedly trying to keep inappropriate content away from children, but then they started including everything. You know, anything that might make the government look bad, anything that might make... Um, you know, the rulers look bad. Anything that, that, that might imply that, you know, America is not just the, just the best country in the world and that we've made no mistakes. Um, and it's the right wingers doing this, right? It's, uh, you know, they're, they're banning everything. They're banning, they're banning books on, uh, you know, the black liberation movement, women's liberation movement. Um, on, on, uh, you know, anything that brings to light the suffering people have gone through here in this country. That includes crimes committed by our government against American citizens. Um, you keep, and keep something in mind, too, when I talk about book bans, they're, they're banning anything. Like they're, they're, they're friggin' banning the color purple, okay? They banned um, Diary of Anne Frank. They, it just gives you an idea of what they're doing, right? Um, it's anything that makes white, self-professed Christian nationalists look bad. That's what, that's what they're banning. Um, well, what has our government done, right? Consider MK Ultra. Consider, you know, the, the CIA is MK Ultra. Consider uh, the FBI and COINTELPRO, right? Um, all all of the, hor the horrific experiments the, you know, the Tuskegee experiments and, and just the, the horrific atrocities that our government has committed against American citizens and also against Canadians. They did this to Canadians, too. And, of course, the Canadian government allowed it, right? Um, MK Ultra, you know, MK Ultra was allowed. The, the Canadian government allowed the CIA to experiment on their own people. So... You know, all of these things are being banned. So kids now, I mean, they're going to start growing up without any knowledge at all of any of the crimes our government has committed, of, of, of the past, of, of their own, of the real history as it actually happened, right? And you know what they say, you know, those, those who don't uh, learn from history tend to repeat it, right? Well, this is, this is what's happening now, right? People don't see it coming, so they're letting it happen again. You know, particularly when it comes to targets of this type of stalking campaign, it's happened before, right? The the East German police, the Stasi, did this in, in East Germany, right? The FBI did this to civil rights activists. I mean, this is not new, but it was written out of history, so people don't know about it. That's why it's so difficult to explain to people what's happening to us, because they have no reference. They have no, no knowledge that it happened before, so they don't understand it when it's happening again. They're banning books now that talking about the Holocaust and what led up to it and, you know, um, stories of people who survived the Holocaust and wrote about it um, because they don't want people and the new generation, particularly the, the, you know, the up and coming generation to understand what happened, what led to it. Right. Because they don't want these kids and even, you know, young adults now to, to realize that it's happening again. They don't want them to see the signs. Um, everything that's happening now in the States happened in Germany before the, the actual Holocaust, right? Before the, the quote-unquote final solution. It's... Um, 
you know, even in, I, I, I could get into the laws, but the, you know, the, even they're, they're even looking for excuses to take children away from their parents, right? And this this is not new, right? These these uh, Christo fascists have historically taken kids away from their parents. I mean, there's slavery, of course, that was horrific. Where, 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 you know, people were 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 black women were and men were were just bred like cattle, and their offspring was sold. Their, their children were sold into slavery. Um, but this happened to the indigenous too. You know, you've got these Christian nationalists and I call them false Christians because they are not following Christ. These false Christians came up with every excuse to accuse the, the indigenous parents of doing something wrong. And then they use that to justify taking their children away. And we know what happened when they took their children away, right? Because the bodies were, were recently found buried on church grounds. In some cases, the bodies of newborns also buried on church grounds. Why? Because when you force children to have children, you're going to get a higher death rate than not. Most will die because of that. They're, they're just too, too underdeveloped, right? Both mother and baby tend to die. And you imagine the agony they died in. Um, you know, that they, they would take children from loving families and put them with the actual abusers. They would accuse the loving families of abuse while putting them with their, their, the actual abusers who were coming from the false church. Um, so they're doing it again now in Florida. Um, DeSant, they, they're, make, DeSant, they're making laws that say that the government, the state, can take custody of children if, if the parents are trans, if the children are transgender, or if the children are at risk for receiving transgender care. This is just one more excuse to justify taking kids from parents. And I guarantee it, the next group to be targeted will be gays and lesbian parents, gay and lesbian parents, right? And then non-Christian parents. And then if you're not the right kind of Christian, right? They're just picking people off one by one. And we knew when Roe fell, all of this would happen. Um, right, in Tennessee, they, in Tennessee, um, the gov uh, a congressman wanted, he suggested bringing back lynching, right? Um, his words were bringing back um, execution by way of uh, hanging by a tree. Yeah, that, that's lynching, people. If you understand um, the history of the South, that, that's lynching. Um, uh, in Tennessee, they also passed a bill that would allow um, a clerks to deny a marriage license based on their religious convictions. But it's for, to, to gay, gays and lesbians, first of all, it's same sex, to same-sex couples. But now they've expanded that to interracial couples and to um, interfaith couples. We told you this was going to happen. We told you this was going to happen. Um, it, 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 it's hard to keep up with all of these horrific laws that are being created. And they keep saying it's to save the children. It's not. They're the ones hurting the children. If you look at how many filthy pedophiles are coming out of their churches, child rapists, okay, coming out of their churches. This is entirely 100% projection. Whatever they accuse the left of doing, they themselves are doing. That's been proven time and time again. Um, it, you know, they, they, it, it, they're, you know, in West Virginia, they just, um, they, re they, they, they turned down a bill that would have ended child marriage, right? So tell me who the hell is the fucking pedophile? They want to maintain child marriage. Those are the, the, the right wing, so self-professed Christians. And see, there's a reason that child marriage is not allowed. At some point, it was, you know, it was just by common sense, by observation, it was shown that the younger a girl was, the more underdeveloped she was, the higher the risk that she and the infant would die of pregnancy or childbirth related complications. This should be obvious. For obvious reasons, she's smaller, okay? She's underdeveloped. So they increase the age, right? Because that ensures survival. If you actually give a damn about life, you're gonna want them to survive. This is not. These monsters claim to be pro-life. They are pro-femicide is what this is. They, they even call 10-year-olds women. I, I, it, it's, it's perverse. And yet, and yet if, if people want to go through gender, get gender-affirming care, right, transgender care, first of all, children are not getting surgery, okay? Children are not getting gender-affirming surgery. So that's a lie to begin with. But if people want to get gender-affirming care, Suddenly, suddenly, oh, they're children. Don't harm the children. Bullshit. And then they keep raising the age. First it's children, then it's teenagers, then it's young adults. Now they've raised the age to like 26. And then from there they said, oh, let's just ban it all together. Gender affirming care. Um, right? They, you know, it. they did the same thing with the book bans. 
First, they wanted to ban the books in elementary schools. Then they moved up to grade schools, then to high schools, then to universities. Now they're trying to ban books in colleges to prevent adults from getting them because they don't want people to understand what's happening. They don't want them to see that history is repeating itself. Um, and th this is why I tell people, if you're, from a, if you're watching this from another country, it's best to just stay out of the US right now, especially if you have children, especially if you have daughters. Um, not too long ago in New Hampshire, there was a case of um, British school kids. Um, I think they were, I think it said they were between the ages of 13 and 15. I'm not sure, but um, they, they came on a trip. I think it was to New, to, uh, New Hampshire and their passports were, like all but one of their passports was shredded, literally shredded. Who the hell would shred their passports? What, what the hell? Folks, keep your kids out of this country. Seriously, I, things are getting so bad. Um, we've got people calling for the eradication of quote unquote transgenderism. And once they start with one group, they just start picking off more and more. When they want to introduce something into society that is horrible, that takes away bodily autonomy, that allows them to, to execute people who they don't like, they first target a group that they have already used as a scapegoat so that the masses are already... Um, in disapproval of that group, so they might allow it to happen. But once it's allowed to happen to one group, it can be done to any group. It becomes the norm, and that's what happens. It's done to one group, and they get away with it, and then they start doing it to more and more groups, right? So they're, they're, they're you know, meanwhile, these sick animals are, 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 are raping and molesting children in their churches and, and literally trying to legalize it by getting rid of age of consent, okay, which will actually cause more death. And of course, the more damage is going to be done to her body, the more suffering she's going to go through, the likely, the more likelihood that she's going to, likely that she's going to fucking hemorrhage, fucking sick animals. These are the, the monsters, the, 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 just the mutilators of, of, of little girls who are calling the trans community child abusers. It is all projection. And I know this video is probably going to get taken down, but I want people to understand what's happening. I, you know, I, I, I made this channel to, to talk about organized stalking and, and targeted individuals. That's who this is for. And I tried to keep it apolitical for so long because I don't want anyone to feel alienated. But I cannot be silent about this anymore. Our, Jesus Christ. I mean, and, the, and, and, and you know, the, the, the anti-drag laws are so vague where... You know, they say you, you, you know, in Tennessee or, or, or whatever you, they, they, if you're out in public wearing the outfit, wearing clothing that goes along with the opposite gender, you can be arrested. Um, if you're also dancing or, but, but they're so vague about it. I mean, that can be anything and they're going to take it farther. That's, that's the whole point. This is not going to stop at drag shows. Okay. First it was drag shows. Then it's anyone out in public. There was already, um, I don't know if the person was transgender or just dressing in drag, but this person was arrested um, outside of their home for, uh, for wearing women's clothing. Outside of their home. This is how bad it's getting. Are they going to start arresting women for wearing pants now? Because I believe this is coming. And anyone at this point who says, oh, that's not going to happen. You're just crazy. They are lying. No one is this stupid. Because every time they say, we warn that something is going to happen, and they say, oh, no, 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 it's not going to happen. It happens. Just as they said, oh, you know, the end of Roe was just about states' rights. But no, no, it's not because now they're trying to go international. They're trying to make these laws, not international, national. They're, they're trying to make these laws national, nationwide. So even states that disagree with them will have to follow them. Okay, there are, there are transgender people in the states who are actually looking, think they're considering, you know, their options. Will they be able to, to leave the country and get refugee status somewhere else? The rhetoric is getting so bad they're being killed, they're being shot. First of all, you've got trans women who are being just killed, you know, privately. And then you've got mass murderers going out on shooting sprees and, and, and killing them. That's how bad it's getting. Um, I, I, can't, I can't go into all of the laws now um, that, that are being created. I'm so tired and it's so hard to keep track. And, you know, we've got, we've got women, pregnant women who are being denied medical care to the point where they nearly die. The, the maternal death rate is going up drastically. Okay, they hid that until after the, the elections because they didn't want people to see how bad it was. 
They lie and lie and lie and they deny how bad it is. And that lie, those lies are, are costing people their lives because literally the masses are voting based on the information they have. So when they're given false information and they're told, oh, everything's fine, nothing's wrong, then they don't change anything. They just keep doing, they keep voting for that which is causing pain, suffering, and death. Okay, denying it at this point is attempted murder. Denying the facts, denying what's actually happening. I'm tired, I'm, I'm tired. And this is turning into a very ranty video. But for, for, for targeted individuals, it's gonna get worse because now even more books are being banned and words are being banned. You, you can't, you can't uh, in certain states, <laughs> in Florida, I think um, DeSantis wants to allow people to sue Anyone who calls them, uh, or I don't, I don't remember the state, it might be Florida. If you call them racist, they can sue you. You call them transphobic, they can sue you. You, you. you say a certain word, they can sue you. Folks, this is the right wing. You want to shout triggered and cancel culture at the left? What the hell? Now, for targets, it's going to be harder to, to, to talk to people about what's happening to us because the even discussion about this probably at some point will no longer be allowed. How the hell do we how the, how the hell do we talk to people about what's happening to us if if we're not allowed to use certain words if we're not allowed to use certain phrases and moreover if they're not educated if all of this knowledge is is taken away from them the books are banned the books are burned you know what, what, so they don't understand what happened before they're not going to understand what's happening now and that's the point that's why it's being done shit's about to get a lot harder